Chalice Collectibles $50 Anime Mystery Box. What's up everybody, I'm Tylock and this is Homespun Geek. What's up guys, I'm about to open my $50 Chalice Collectibles Anime Themed Mystery Box which I am really excited about because I saw a couple of people open this and some people got some signed pops. That would be absolutely freaking awesome. If I don't get a signed pop, it's okay. It's still guaranteed value of $50, but a signed pop, man, I cannot tell you how cool that would be. Uh, but before we do that, guys, we were at a store, a local store here called Five Below. I don't know if everybody has a Five Below, but we just got one. They just built it. And they had domes there, and specifically they had some domes I've never seen before. They had WWE Legends domes. Uh, I like the domes, and I love wrestling, and I specifically love the Legends. Uh, the greatest thing about this pack is there's not going to be a Roman Reigns in here. <laughs> I know that sounds wrong, but I can't stand Roman Reigns. I'm not a fan of Roman Reigns. Uh, Superman punch, spear, drive-by kicking. That's it. He's got three moves, and that's it. Uh, I don't really like the guy, but the back of this is all legends. And l there is an Andre the Giant in here and a Rowdy Roddy Piper, two of my all-time favorite guys. Uh, there's also an Undertaker, Jake the Snake Roberts, Macho Man Randy Savage, Ric Flair, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Sting. And there's a chase in here that looks like... Uh, looks like it's probably another Undertaker in maybe a different outfit or something. So, uh, but yeah, this is Series One WWE Legends Domes. Just saw these today while we were out shopping, and I decided to go ahead and grab two of these actually. So I'm just gonna open one now, but I'm gonna have another one for later, uh, and uh, hopefully we get Roddy Piper or Andre the Giant. But really, anyone in this bag, anyone on this, it would would be acceptable to me because I like the legends. I like the guys. Uh, who really created wrestling in the first place. So, all right, gonna go ahead and open this. Woo! There is a, wow. There is a potent glue smell to this. Uh, all right, gonna open this. This comes in a little cardboard uh, casing here. Here we go, guys. Andre the Giant, Rowdy Piper. Let's see, it is, oh, could not be per more perfect. It is Andre the Giant. Uh, that is, that's awesome. I am so glad that th that's the one I got. Love Andre the Giant. Andre was a great freaking guy. Uh, I mean, he was just giant. I mean, he was just a huge guy, you know, and it, everything about him was just like mythical almost. Uh, yeah, he's a great guy. One of the very first, he was the first Hall of Famer in WWE. He was the first guy to get the statue that they used to unleash or uh, unleash, unveil at WrestleMania every year, which they haven't done the last two years. So I'm super disappointed in that uh, because I thought the statues were really cool. I think if they make enough of those statues, they could open up a physical Hall of Fame somewhere and put those statues in the hall uh, and that would just be awesome that would make it worth the drive to go and see those statues as well as memorabilia and things like that maybe even meet some guys that pro probably aren't on the road with them anymore you know have some some signing some booths up for some signings from some retired wrestlers or individuals like that I just think that would be really cool they could have really great events at a physical hall of fame somewhere if they were to build one uh, and if they were to build one I think it should absolutely be and well, I want to say like right down the road from my house, but Florida. I think Florida is a big hub for the WWE. That's where the power plant was. Uh, that is where NXT happens. And I just think that that would be a great full cell university holds uh, NXT. So uh, I think it would be really cool to have a physical Hall of Fame for the WWE. All right, enough with me boring everybody. I got Andre the Giant. That was really cool. That is a cool domes to add to my collection of domes. Let's go ahead and open this box. This box is heavy, heavy, heavy. Chalice Collectibles, $50 mystery box, anime themed. Uh, they had three choices. They had anime, they had Disney, and I think the other one was Marvel. Uh, actually, I don't really remember for sure what the third choice was, but I think it was in Marvel. But uh, I collect mostly anime. Uh, I like Disney, but 
there's not really anything Disney that I would be like in shock for that was valued at 50 bucks. Uh, so anyway, guys, so yeah, I picked anime because I was hoping maybe I might get some cool pops out of this because, you know, pretty much anything anime I'm more than okay with. Uh, now, Chalice did th do things a little differently this time. They have done box in a box, and the box inside is a Chalice Collectibles box. Ooh, moving on up, Chalice Collectibles. First, you have your own exclusive pop. Now you have your own box. Look at that, guys. Chalice Collectibles box. Uh, yeah, they do have an exclusive pop, guys. If you haven't seen it, it was a Goku. Uh, really, really cool. I pre-ordered it for sure because it's definitely something I want for my collection. Uh, this box feels a little familiar. Feels a little bit like a uh, Ferreira box. Uh, the only difference really here is that beautiful CC that's right on the top of that, guys. So, uh, so anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to open it facing that way so I don't get a peek here. Uh, yeah, oh, this is definitely like a Ferrer box. Okay, very... All right. All right, guys, so I'm going to fill in here and see if we can figure out what has the pop protectors. And I'm going to save those for last. That feels like a pop protector. That feels like a pop protector. So, okay, so they're both on the same side this time as opposed to last time when they were on opposite ends. So I'm going to try to pull out what I think is a common first. Let's see. The first thing here, guys, is... Oh, Renji from Bleach. I actually think... Uh, yeah, I don't have this one. I have Grimjow, but I do not have Renji. So that, uh, I think, finishes the set except for the GameStop. Grimjow, which was an exclusive, but yes, both of these guys that are on the back here I now have, that will finish that set for me. I've never seen Bleach, I don't know a whole lot about it. It is something that's always been on my list that I'd like to see, but I do not have, uh, or I've not seen Bleach at all. But yes, this will definitely finish this set except for that exclusive. So I have now Renji and Grimjow from Bleach. So that's cool. Uh, we'll look up values at the end of this, guys, and get an idea, make sure we got our $50 value. Uh, Alright, next one, next comment in the box is... Oh, Whis from Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Whis. I don't have this. This is exciting. I'm glad to have this. Uh, let's see, I have Super Saiyan Future Trunks, Goku Black, Future Trunks, Zamasu, and now I have Whis. So the only thing I'm missing off the back of this is Gotenks and Hit. Uh, and I, I thought Hit was like an exclusive, but I could be wrong about that. But yeah, Whis, I do not have him. He will go perfectly in my collection. Uh, that is really, really cool. I'm glad I got that one as well. So that's two that'll go with what I already have that I don't already have. So, uh, all right, that's two. Number three is, trying to make sure I open it or pull it out with the face. All right, it is... Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, no, this is, I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh! Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh! At all. Uh, is it, I don't know, I really don't. I know that it's popular, or it was popular. Uh, that's what it is on the side. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, it's cool looking, definitely cool looking, but I don't know anything about it. So, uh, but yeah, uh... Somebody tell me in the comments below, what is this? Blue Eyes White Dragon. Is Yu-Gi-Oh! like a card game? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Is it anything like Pokemon or something like that? I, I, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, guys. All right. So we have Renji. We have Whis. We have the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Number four, the last comment in the box, guys, is... From Tokyo Ghoul, it is Rise, or maybe Reese. I don't know how you say that. This will probably, I think this is the only Tokyo Ghoul pop I've ever gotten. Uh, so that's four right off the bat, guys. I do not have any of these four pops. So that is cool. Never seen Tokyo Ghoul again. Uh, I don't know anything about it, really. Uh, again, it's on my list, for sure. Things that I'd like to see. Uh, but yeah, that is cool. So, um... It's good that I got four here that I don't have that I can add to the collection and just keep here. Uh, so, all right. 
Here's the question. The last two have pop protectors on them, so I'm not going to know which one is the higher value pop or, or what. But uh, I'm going to pull them out. We'll see. Uh, and then after we get everything out, guys, we'll go back in and we'll look at uh, values and see if we got the $50 value that they were talking about. So I'm going to go with the one on the right side here. And I can't also don't know what what side's front and what side's back. So, uh, okay. Shota Aizawa. Uh, I actually have this one, guys. I have this one with the Hot Topic sticker on it. Uh, Shota Aizawa, that is a Hot Topic exclusive. I will look up his value. I think he's got a little bit of value to him. Uh, but like I said, guys, I have that one already with the Hot Topic sticker that I think I got in a mystery box as well. I think it was a Poptopia or maybe a Gotcha box. No, I think it was my very first Gotcha mystery box. I got that pop. So, uh, My Hero Academia... I know, I'm gonna watch it eventually, guys. I haven't watched it, but if I get pops that I don't have, it's gonna go into my collection because when I go back and watch it, I know I'm gonna like it and I'm gonna regret it if I do anything with these pops. But since this is a duplicate, guys, it may end up in some sort of a giveaway eventually. So hopefully that was the lesser value pop there, guys. Hopefully there's something really great in here. Uh, but here we go, guys. I'm gonna flip this around. Here we go. One, two, Super Saiyan Gohan. Uh, I don't know. I have Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I don't have Super Saiyan Gohan. I feel like this is an exclusive of some sort as well. Uh, maybe this was a Gemini collectibles exclusive. It doesn't have a sticker on it. Uh, I'm going to have to look that up because I'm not really sure about Super Saiyan Gohan. But anyway, yeah, guys, I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know this one. I'm pretty sure this is an exclusive to Gemini. It's not on the back of the box, which means it was definitely an exclusive where it would have been on the picture on the back. Uh, let me let me kind of look that up, guys. Let me put the box down. All right, guys, I've got the Funko app up. We're actually going to look at these from first to last. So we'll save the two that are... Uh in the pop protectors for last here guys and uh so we'll start with what we got first which was renji from bleach let me look him up real quick all right guys so renji from bleach is seven dollars so yeah guys renji was seven dollars that's a pretty common pop that's basically like a common value seven to twelve dollars is what most of the commons are going to be valued at especially since it seems like most of these are from newer sets so uh all right so the next thing that we pulled out guys was Whis from dragon ball z all right guys so the Whis from dragon ball z is currently valued at eight dollars unfortunately it's not the metallic Whis, which is valued at $140, but this guy right here is valued at $8. So seven and eight, that is $15 in value right there. Uh, let's see, so the next thing I believe we pulled out was the Yu-Gi-Oh pop. The Blue-Eyed White Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh guys is currently valued at $9. Uh, so seven, eight, and nine, that's pretty, uh, we're, we're headed upwards. Maybe we'll get to some bigger values here, but yeah, seven, eight, and nine. So with those three guys, it puts us right at about $24. All right, guys, so pretty interestingly enough, we had seven, we had eight, we had nine, and Rise is $10, guys. So, uh, yeah, the Tokyo Ghoul one, these are actually pretty cool. There's a lot of cool ones on the back of here. Uh, half Kakuja Kaneki, uh, Uta, and Hyde. Uh, these, a lot of these look really cool, guys. So, uh, this may be a set that I eventually try to get back on uh, and, you know, go back and get them. But uh, as of right now, I've never seen Tokyo Ghoul, so uh, it's not something that I'm going to probably go after as of right now. All right, guys, so Shota Aizawa is currently valued at $14. Uh, so there you go, $14. Like I said, guys, I have this pop already with the Hot Topic exclusive. I got it in my very first Gotcha Robot mystery box, uh, which you guys can go back and look at if you want to. Uh, never seen My Hero Academia, but I do like the pops. I think they're really cool looking. Uh, and so... Uh, that may be a giveaway at some point. I haven't really decided. I'll have to think about it. So $14 is what Shota is valued at. So let's move on to the last one here. Super Saiyan Gohan. Super Saiyan Gohan, guys. I think I said Gemini. This is actually a Galactic Toys exclusive. Uh, they seem to have quite a few Dragon Ball Z exclusives, including the common Shenron and uh, a couple of others now. But yes, he is currently valued, guys, at... 
$26. So $26, that's a pretty good value. 26 plus 14 is 40 just for that. Uh, then this one was 10, so that's 50. This one was nine, so that's 59. Uh, this one was eight, so uh, 67, I believe. Uh, and then this one was seven, so uh, whatever that is. So I think that's $75. So five, six, no, it's $74. So yeah, $74 in value, guys, for a $50 box. Not bad. Definitely worth the buy. So I did not have either of these Dragon Ball Pops, so they will go into my Dragon Ball collection. I actually have been looking at Super Saiyan Gohan. I have been considering purchasing him because he is available on Galactic Toys' website, uh, and the Whis, of course, is a common. Uh, but the Shota Azawa, I don't think he's available on Hot Topic anymore. Unless I'm wrong, I'd have to go back in and look again. Uh, but yeah, so I think it's a pretty good value guys about $74 is what I got here as a total value uh, I'm definitely glad I didn't buy the Disney one uh, because I saw some people get Smee which is exactly what they gave out last month when they did their mystery box as well so to send out Smee when you know everybody last month got Smee I don't think that was very uh I don't think that was very ethical, <laughs> honestly. Uh, if everybody bought mystery boxes last month and you put Smee in every single mystery box almost that I saw, and then to send Smee again to the people that picked Disney this month, yeah, I think that there's an issue there. I don't think that should have been done. I don't think that should have happened to anybody uh, because we all bought it last month. So why would you send it to everybody again this month? So, uh, But anyway, guys, so... Six pops for $50 with a $74 value. Pretty good. Two new pops from my Dragon Ball Z collection. Uh, I finished the Bleach collection here, which is pretty cool. And the other three are kind of like a uh, whatever. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know anything about. Shota Aizawa I already have. And Rise, again, I don't know anything about Tokyo Ghoul. So. But you guys tell me in the comments below what you think, guys. Do you think I got a good pull here? Do you think this is a good value? Do you think I should do Chalice $50 box again next month when they do their box? What do you guys think? I was going to skip it this month, but then when they offered the anime option, I thought, well, I'm going to do the anime option because it guarantees I'm going to get anime pop. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, tell me what you think in the comments below. I like to hear from you guys here. I like to hear your opinions. Uh, and as always, guys, I am Tylock. This is Homespun Geek, and I hope you... Have a nice day.